Okay, just the <clears throat> answer for question 10. It was pointed out quite correctly that I should have rounded down in part two. Um, because you want the top 20% of runners. So yeah, it was 214.9. I should have rounded down. I got caught out there. So yeah, just to run through this question, um, I think this answer is okay. Nobody's complained about this answer. Um, a few of you comment on the rounding down there. Thank you for spotting that. So I think it's okay now. This one here is, I think some people are asking, is it a Bernoulli trial? I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good start, good start, good start, bad start. So 0 0.429 is the answer here um so i think that's okay i think i'm happy with that um this one here is a bernoulli trial where you have 20 people um and the the probability of dropping is 0.1 and you want at most two teams to drop so it's zero teams drop or one team drops or two teams drop so when you bash that in on the calculator you'll get this number here um this one here a lot of discussion about this one and um, the last one here i think it's okay again I'm, I'm not too sure on the rounding issues going on for this one here and uh, i'm kind of hopeful that the use of the word estimate here is means that because you're only supposed to estimate the position they're not going to be super strict about it that they might have a plus or minus one tolerance on that answer and the idea for this question was uh, you calculate her time using the first race, the windy one. So you convert her position into a area, a probability, 87% of people at a smaller time than her. And you get the z-score for that. Oh, sorry, you know the z-score for it. that is 1.16 from the table book. So then you can work out the x. The x worked out to be 298.08. Um, and likewise here um, for the second one, you know her time now, 298, and you know the average for the second one. So you can do a z-score, you get 1.76, and that corresponds to an area of 96.08%, because in the formula book it was 9608. So you just get that percentage of 2000, and that's 1921.6, and I round it up. Uh, so this one here, there's a lot of discussion on this one. And... Uh, I wonder if I if I make it as a probability tree, would that make things a little bit clearer for people? So each runner is number one to a hundred. Two runners are picked at random from the race. Work out the probability that their sum is a hundred and one. So you take out one runner, and then um, they can have you know, a one or a two, etc. Um, yeah, so I actually I did do this one wrong. One, two, three, four, etc. All the way down to uh, did I do it wrong? Maybe not. All the way down to three hundred, and then each of these ones branch off as well. And there's 299 branches here. So the first one is we'll get a 1 and then followed by a 100. So that would be there's a 1 in 300 chance times a 1 in 299 chance. And then you go down to the next branch. We'll get a 2, which is a 1 in 300 chance, and then followed by a 90 eight which is a one in two nine nine chance and you continue all the way down and how many times have you calculated this um it's 99 times isn't it uh no you start at one oh it's a hundred times start at one and you go down to a hundred yeah that's the last one and then a uh, 100 followed by a 1. So, yeah, I'm trying to remember what I got last time. 1 over 300 
times 1 over 299 times 100. Yeah, that's 1 over 897. I think I said there was 99 paths. Why did I say that? There's 100 paths. So 1 over 897. I wonder if people were saying that in the the chat box, uh, the comments. Hopefully that's all the answers corrected now for anyone checking their answers.